Yo, stranger, what's up? What up? Oh, not much. Hold up. I got a skull mask for you. Oh, dope. Just... Right there. Fuck yeah. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Yeah, no worries. How are you liking the game so far? I honestly, because I like I played it a while ago and I didn't really like it. This yeah, is great. Yeah, fucking sucked before, huh? I'm a pre-order yeah. guy. Well, and it was so funny too because I was gonna I was gonna download it a while ago and I'm like, no, maybe I won't. I don't know if it's any good. And then like, I just kept seeing you logged in. I was like, all right, if Mike's fucking playing it, it's got to be fucking decent. So <laughs> right, I I pre-ordered this thing. Got super pissed because it was Ghost Town. Came back, started yep. playing it off and on last year, and got a platinum out of spite. Oh, beautiful. Yup. <laughs> Probably. Oh or my god. Or is it god. still loading? No, no, I'm here. Oh, yep, I'm, in, I'm inside your house? Oh. Yeah, hi. There you are. Fair <laughs> warning. There's kind of a monster in here. Uh, he's chill. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It's Dr. Pickles. He won't fuck with you. <laughs> I think I saw it when I came in and I was like, ah! Yeah, it's like, uh... Um, you always it's have so called much a, shit. There he is. It's called a, a Sally, uh, Snally Gasher. Here he is. Yep, yep. Right over here. <laughs> yep. He's so just exactly a little feller. That's exactly what I saw when I came in. <laughs> well... Oh, what the f- <laughs> Dude, this thing is just lighting up this guy's door. Alright, I'm I'm at somebody's store, right? And one of these white spring robots is just fucking this guy's house up. And I'm just sitting here watching it. It's, oh, it hates this person. They logged off. They logged off and it pretty much destroyed this guy's house. Oh, that sucks. It was just somebody using their shop and it was just like made a robot blow holes through this dude's house. That's what we need to do right now. Oh, that's funny. Get over here. I am outside and up the hill a little bit. Before you kill this poor little son of a bitch, let me explain what just what I just walked into. Alright, he's over here, right? This fucking deer was sitting here knocking the shit out of him so much that this guy is alive and paralyzed. So put him down now. <laughs> yeah, the deer the deer broke his legs. <laughs> But, honestly, it's not really... It's a lot of trouble for something that could disappear. Okay, come here and check this out. I'm going to show you that outfit that that dude got really butthurt about me grabbing from the secret trader. On Cheap Squatch. Yeah, it's like a hunter's long coat. And you can only get it from that random generated robot that's like a store. And yeah, that was the one where I like I generate it and the store shows up and then this dude shows up right after I was done buying it and just starts shooting my character. He was sad. Hello, citizen. Okay, so this is a good weapon for me. Not necessarily for you. Okay, so three, like two out of three perks are good. It has explosive rounds. That's good for everybody. But what does it good for me is this is a mutant weapon. So you're, um, you're going to see me try to get a bunch of vampire and mutant weapons in the future. But basically what a mutant weapon does is it gives you a 5% damage increase per mutation you have. Dude, I'm like eight or nine mutations deep. So like, I'm a highly mutated, I get like a huge damage bonus on this sucker. And that's the only reason I, I'm using it, and I have a hammer that does the same thing.
Oh yeah, that's right. I was trying to figure out this camp thing. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. The uh, modded Buffett. It's like Mentap and Buffett combined. Because I need like two drugs to do it. Yeah, I'm going to have to figure out this camp thing because like now that we're getting first, uh, we get a mobile camp dis uh, deploying thing that doesn't count as our main base. And it's like a pre-made camp and you can just deploy it wherever. And it has... It is, and it's those things where it's like they all kind of look the same. They all have like the same like box and cooking station and you know that stuff. Boom, bitch! Oh yeah, and another good thing about this railroad rifle is it's technically a rifle, and I've been putting that rifle master shit on here. Oh, dude, I um. I found a shotgun called Crowd Control with explosive rounds, and uh, if you keep, if you want to go like shotgun heavy when you're um, max rank, I will totally give you one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's um. Dude, um, I'm 90% weight loss on chems, food, bullets, energy ammo, meaning fusion cores, 60% um, on melee, 90% on heavy guns, and 90% um, on explosives like grenades. But, like, I had carry so much shit that should weigh so much. That as soon as I switch into my crafting build, I go from like 200 pounds to like 800 real quick. Uh huh. Oh yeah, dude. Oh yeah, you just um, you just have to uh, perk the right stuff. And then remember that as soon as you hit 50, you're going to get your first legendary card. And you can get legendary cards that um, give you extra points, like an extra point in strength or an extra point in endurance or whatever. And then you can give yourself even more mods. Man, I ran out of railroad spikes. I'm going to have to go make some. What? Mothman what? Oh yeah, up on top of the roof. Yeah, that throne's kind of cool. Have you been in the church in here? Oh, of course you have. You got the suit. Oh, it's too bad this lady died in front of the Mothman statue. Oh, you see all these red hockey puck looking things? Yeah, you could cook those and eat them. Yeah, and what I what I'll do for cheap bucks is I'll cook food and then I'll go sell it. Cause cooked food, you sell it to the robots. Oh, that's right. Yeah, those little vendor robots. You just sell them like, and yeah, and whenever the um, I collect meat and it's just going bad, I'll sell the robots almost rotten meat. And they'll give me full price, and then it'll just decay in their inventory, and they won't care. Oh, that fuck? Oh, you got one of those letters. I get a bunch of those. I gotta really find out. It's usually, like... Some scrapper has a bunch of stuff hidden somewhere, and it'll lead you there. Usually, yeah. There's treasure maps, too. Like, I Dude, I have so many treasure maps. I have never once went through them. Like, I hear you get high-level caps, like a couple hundred caps or whatever, but, dude, I honestly, because my store is so jam-packed, I make so many caps that... 
I just, I go out and I panic buy stuff just so I don't hit, like, max 40k. Dude, I don't know, man. Like, I was just looking at that book being like, I have zero idea what to do here. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, it tells me I'm not ready. It's like, do I have to go hardcore cultist? Like, I mean, I could. Oh, yeah. This actually used to be uh, the first place I lived by. Is I built a house, like, up the hill by this place, and I would just constantly loot it. I think it's I think it's three months, but it ends at the end of this month, uh, as well as the mask event. Everything ends at the end of this month. But dude, I'm excited about the next scoreboard, and we're gonna be able to finish it if we start it right off, like, cause it's all gonna be cryptids, and they have floofs of cryptids too. Like we're go fuck. We started this when it was almost done, dude. Yeah, like, we barely got a month left of this, like, when we started. Okay. Everything I am giving you can be displayed. There. Remember that vault we were screwing around with and we couldn't get figure out all the key code or the key cards and stuff? Yeah, it was uh, the first, my first day. Yeah. Okay, so I went back, man. I went back and found there's actually four different key cards that you could get. Oh, by the way, there's a, this display is empty too, and then you have some spots over here in the teddy bear one. But um, I went back. I found all the key cards, and I found out they have a music room, and four of the instruments that they have you could display. They also have, like, a banjo, a guitar, a steel guitar, an accordion. I was so annoyed that I couldn't display the accordion. But yeah, you got this one empty too. And then this one over here. Okay. Very beginning of it. It's going to be fetch quests. Like, you're going to need to get five of these robots to uh, go and do their job, like, go line up, right? And they won't line up until their duties are done. So there's, like, a candle maker that he wants you to go get beeswax. There's a butcher that wants you to collect intestines for sausage, so you just kill these squirrels and shit that run around. Um... There's a historian guy that he wants all these little porcelain mugs that are hidden around. Uh, who else? Oh, there's a dude that wants you to decorate, and then a dude that wants you to just, like, play music next to him. Like, I'm going to play music next to this guy. Well, come over to me. I'm, I'm playing music in front of the music one. Um, behind that yellow building that you're next to. Alright, I see ya. Yeah, so just come over here and hop on a instrument. Oh, see that pink-haired lady? Yeah, I that. that is cow rare. 
Okay, so this one's complete. Dude, it reminds me of some stuff from The Mask. Oh, she's wearing that, um... That one, um... A strongman outfit I was telling you about. The leopard print one. Alright, this one's complete, so we can leave this. Like, look up in the corner, though. It'll tell you, like, to that we need to donate intestines or whatever, or we need to go bring those cups. So basically, the people that know run over and they activate these robots. And then it tells you what you need, yada yada. So this guy right here, he's the butcher. We go around and we kill like random animals. And he just wants the intestines. And then we put them in the cooler. So like you go grab intestines from animals, you put them in that box. Like that's as simple as this one. I'm collecting small animal stuff right now. The best bet for that is grab yourself a rifle and keep hitting vats because they're all over the place. But I only need two more. One more. And then this guy is done. It's behind. Someone jumped in my vault. Okay, intestines are done. I just finished that one. Alright, somebody's at the museum. Alright, cool. Go donate those. I think, I think it's like a boiling pot that you put those into. Okay, I need to give this guy cups. Let's go get some cups. And then sometimes some of these change up. Like, there's like a candle maker, he wants you to collect beeswax. There's the beekeeper that he'll want you to fight honey beasts, but it's like the same, it holds the place of that same mission, right? But just different things you can do. I've already finished the food. Oh, oh, the egg. Um, look for a yellow marker underneath the map. I think it's the yellow house because I see a marker in the yellow house. But like you see how you're walking around and you'll see little diamond yellow prints. Those are quest markers. Because we're technically in the quest zone. So that's how it's going to show it. Okay, I got to get more cups. We're three short, two short. Okay, cool. We need two more cups because I'm about to give him one. Okay, come over to where I am because he's in here. Oh, it's done. We're good. Okay, so now everybody is set where they need to be. So we have to go over here and wait in line with the robots. And then they're going to start their little march. And every time their music kind of dies down, we're going to get groups of enemies. Most of the people are just going to stand around exactly where those enemies are going to be. And then... Um, I said something about a honey beast. I need to kill more of these. Okay, now it's about to begin. I'm going back to the area now. All right, cool. Oh, I see you. There we go. So yeah, we just line up over here and wait.
yada yada. So this guy right here, he's the butcher. We go around and we kill like random animals and he just wants the intestines. And then we put them in the cooler. So like you go grab intestines from animals, you put them in that box. Like that's as simple as this one. I'm collecting small animal stuff right now. The best bet for that is grab yourself a rifle and keep hitting vats because they're all over the place. But I only need two more. One more. And then this guy is done. It's behind. Someone jumped in my vault. Okay, intestines are done. I just finished that one. Alright, somebody's at the museum. Alright, cool. Go donate those. I think, I think it's like a boiling pot that you put those into. I need to give this guy cups. Let's go get some cups. And then sometimes some of these change up. Like, there's like a candle maker. He wants you to collect beeswax. There's the beekeeper that he'll want you to fight honey beasts, but it's like the same, it holds the place of that same mission, right? But just different things you can do. I've already finished the food. Oh, oh, the egg. Um, look for a yellow marker underneath the map. I think it's the yellow house because I see a marker in the yellow house. But like you see how you're walking around and you'll see little diamond yellow prints. Those are quest markers because we're technically in the quest zone. So that's how it's going to show it. Okay, I got to get more cups. We're three short, two short. Okay, cool. We need two more cups because I'm about to give him one. Okay, come over to where I am because he's in here. Oh, it's done. We're good. Okay, so now everybody is set where they need to be. So we have to go over here and wait in line with the robots. And then they're going to start their little march. And every time their music kind of dies down, we're going to get groups of enemies. Most of the people are just going to stand around exactly where those enemies are going to be. And then... Um, I said something about a honey beast. I need to kill more of these. Okay, now it's about to begin. I'm going back to the area now. Oh, dude, I should do that, too. I think I have some extras. Banner! You know what these do, right? Okay. What I want you to do, go into your status. So, inventory, R2, L2 over, go into effects. As soon as you look at effects, you'll see all the little things. And they're temporary effects, but it's like every single person that dropped that, like we have hours worth of perks. Yeah, dude, that's what they're for. Like, there's no reason to save these things. I always give them out when we're in big events like this. Because the moment you do, everybody else wants to give theirs out too. And we get stacks like this, man. It's so great. Oh, 
that Grafton Monster one's kind of lame. I don't know, but it won't be able to touch you, dude, so I wouldn't worry about it. No, I get it. I get it. Like, I, I drop mini nukes. So, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find out who's dropping those, and I'm going to throw a mini nuke at him. Give me a second. Nope. Oh wait, yeah. Yeah it is. Catch him, motherfucker. Boosh! <laughs> I'm on passive so he can't get hurt. But you know what I can do? I could vats this grenade in the air and try to blow it up in front of him. Because his own grenade will hurt him. Seeing if I can't do it. Oh, I don't want to throw one yet, huh? Okay. I don't think he liked the fact that I shot the other one in front of him. Okay, so another goal to this is to keep all these things alive. Because the only way we're getting a rare drop mask is if they all live. And even then, we only have a 5% chance. And then if you get into like heavy details, we, don't, we have less than a 1% chance to get like a Brahma mask or a Deathclaw mask. And that's why these things are so stupid expensive. And that's also why you will see campers that just hang out and like, it's very obvious. They're just sitting there running in a circle, right? Like going and hiding in a room or something like that. Okay, next section. Oh, by the way. That one, then the section over here, and then a separate section over here, and then the finale where there's like a mini boss. Oh, it don't matter. There's so many people that they'll take care of it. I will warn you though, this, um, this next phase has suiciders. No, 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 no. Honey, honeybee was when you were prepping. Like, that's a chance, boss. But, uh, no, this one, there's going to be super mutants in. Uh, you know how I told you if it sounds like a disruption, boss, to light it up? If you hear that beep, they're going to be running at you with a mini nuke in their hand like a football. And if they blow up next to these robots, they're going to take a robot out. Okay, ready? Ready? Oh yeah. I'm gonna start hucking nukes. By the way, yes, that is me doing that. Uh-huh. Yep, if you even graze something with a bullet during this match, like you're that's how you level up real quick at low level in these events. Still good. Oh yeah, people are lighting the suiciders up before they even come near. That's good. Yeah, that's why I use grenades in this. Just because they like soft touch everybody. Oh shit, right next to you. That was a suicider. Yeah, yeah, you could see up in the corner under our time, it says how many have been destroyed. We want that to always say zero out of five. Yep, so now you know one of the worst super mutant bo enemies out there. I'd rather deal with one of those giants than deal with a bunch of suiciders. 
Okay, now, this is the last section. Follow me before everybody gets over there because there's two possibilities of where the um, boss is going to drop from. So he's either going to drop from back here, but more likely he's up here behind these bushes in this tree over here. But what I like to do is make sure I have a gun on. I stand about right here because then soon as as soon as the group swarm, if there's a group of enemies that swarm, show up by the tree, I go to the other section. And then vice versa. Because that way... Haha. <laughs> that way um, we get credit for killing everything. Like, we won't lose out on the boss item. But I like to have XP. Okay, here it comes. Okay, groups over here, so that means over here by the garage is going to be the boss. <laughs> Let's throw nukes everywhere. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Just nuke everything. Oh, that, that reminds me. I have plans for you after this. Um, by the way, then we go over to this tree thing. They set it on fire. That's the end. Um, I have Nuka-Cola grenade and mine for you. I got a baseball bat for junkies. Well, that's not bad. Add that to your grouping. Harry Potter.